September 2008. You're a kid. You heard that they released a new game called Echo Batman. You dressed up and then went to the store to get it. When you came home and turned on the game, the first thing you heard was this music. Max, what do you want for dinner? Okay, hear me out. For some reason, YouTube put Lego Batman videos on my homepage and that made me go back into my childhood. Man, I miss those days. I used to play it on PSP. Now the game is 15 years old and I haven't played it since then. That is why I play Lego Batman so you don't have to. Now, if you're new into any Lego games, there are a few things to get out the way first. There are many kits which are basically collectibles for little statues in every game. There are 10 of them per mission or 300 all together in this game. Then there is also the bread meter, which I love to call it, which is basically you collecting coins throughout the missions and trying to fill it up. And there are also red bricks, which are basically steroids, AK gives you buffs in game, like earning more coins, for example. You collect them also on every mission and later on you buy it in the store. This game is also divided into 30 levels. 15 levels are Batman and Robin's perspective and other 15 are of villain's perspective. The game is set in the Gotham City, where the dynamic duo Batman and Robin must capture notorious villains who have escaped from Arkham Asylum. The game is divided into three chapters, each featuring different groups of villains plotting to wreak havoc on Gotham. In chapter 1, The Riddle's Revenge, the villains are The Riddler, Two-Face, Mr. Freeze, Poison Ivy and Clayface. Level 1, you can bank on Batman. The Riddler and Clayface rob Gotham's second national bank, aiming to gather funds for their larger scheme. Batman and Robin are called to the scene to stop the robbery and capture the villains. The level begins outside the bank, where players control Batman and Robin for the first time. Players must defeat a group of Riddler's henchmen, and well on the way, you are going to be introduced with Batman's demolition suit that can destroy silver shiny objectives by planting a bomb and Robin technology suit. To activate a control panel with a little RV vehicle, now for some reason civilians are in there trapped and are just chilling, I don't know, hands in their pockets like they do not care. I feel like we are doing this for the sake of it and not to save the city, basically charity. But at least we opened the main doors and went outside the bank interior where we faced Clayface. Now the boss fights in this game are quite something, because they are mechanically hard. But I will tell you a secret on how to beat them the easiest way. And that's by spamming attack button until they go somewhere else and run like little bitch, I mean smart villains. When Clayface is low health, you can use Batman or Robin's batarangs and hover over the three switches to activate some cameras that has gas in it. I don't know how is that possible, but okay. We captured the Clayface, but there was also a Riddler there, and now he managed to escape because Clayface made a power play. So Batman tripped and fell, but since we are the Dark Knight, or should I say Dork Knight, we threw the tracking device on their track and followed them to the next mission. After successfully tracking down the truck, we came outside the Ghost Corp and noticed that two police officers were frozen. That's where we were introduced to level 2, an icy reputation. In order to enter into God Corp, we needed to destroy the cars that NPC basically spawned every couple of seconds, but we also needed to destroy the gate and unlock a new Robin suit that basically is allowing him to walk on magnet. I hate this suit since it takes years to get to the top, but at least we did a little puzzle and managed to get inside to unlock a new Batman suit that allows us to glide. And then after that we did even more puzzles and climbing to get to the final room where Mr. Freeze was in. After a little puzzle we faced the man himself. Now this boss sucks ass. Since this guy is just perma freezing us and we cannot do anything and we, we get one shotted, but somehow we managed to do it and we defeated him. And that's where we were introduced onto level 3. Now level 3 basically every single player that plays this game hates vehicle missions but i kind of do love them since you destroy everything and anyone that's in your way however the concept of it it's kind of dead I'm not gonna lie. because all we had to do was destroy the truck and deliver it to the helicopter that basically was showcasing the batman logo and just deliver it there and we didn't only do that once but we had to do it four times just to get to phase two phase actually not even two phase he's we phased his car which we basically sp speed run in like 10 seconds just so we can get into the fourth level called a poisonous appointment now this level was filled with plants and shit ton of things to destroy but at least we unlocked a new suit for batman he became blue and now we can shatter glass with our gun later on we will unlock one more but for now we unlocked a vacuum suit for robin where we were sucking lego pieces off the floor into a builder thingy that needed 25 of them to create a bomb and destroy a huge plant 
into pieces so we went inside and some kind of garden tunnel unlocked a new batman suit where we are red and can touch and build red lego objectives i'm feeling like some kind of power ranger collecting these color suits but hey after a little collecting and vacuuming later on we were faced against ivy and she was annoying as mr freeze without the freezing part since she was non-stop attacking us but after putting her ass to jail we were on to a last mission from riddle chapter the face off the level begins by putting us outside the Gotham City vault and we needed to find a way to get across to the bank. We had to build some kind of scanner to go in the truck and scan it and get on the other side of the platform and destroy some things so the second part of the bridge can go up and so we can get across. Climb on top of the bank and into the elevator and after we went inside we were facing Two-Face. Now after beating him up for a bit he decided to chicken out and go to the vault. After we found our way into the vault we had to do a little jumping puzzle just so we can get to the end part where we were facing Two-Face and the Riddler at the same time. After we beat both of them, that sums up the chapter 1. And the chapter 2 begins by going into a bat cabin and jumping into a boat. Chapter 2, Power Crazed Penguin contains another 5 villains. The Penguin, Catwoman, Bane, Mambat and Killer Croc. Level 1, named There She Goes Again, is about Catwoman and the Penguin and basically they stole some valuable artifact from Gotham Museum. Batman and Robin must chase her across the rooftop of Gotham City and that's pretty much sums it up. We attack her, follow her again, do some more puzzles until we have a boss fight with her. After we put her back in a police truck, we can move on to level 2, Batball Battle, where the Penguin, with the help of Killer Croc, basically plans to use the stolen technology to control an army of the robotic penguins. This is a vehicle-based mission, and let me tell you, I hate this more than anything. Because you need to aim your bombs and use Robin Watercraft missiles, and it's basically just going up and down, left and right, until you go to the final room I would say and in that boss fight you just basically drop the bombs drop some missiles until the ship is down and move on to level 3 now level 3 under the city is one of the funniest levels I ever played because I played also with my friend and let me tell you it, it was actually the funniest level of them all first of all Robin unlocks the scuba suit and for my friend it took him five minutes to remove the water so I can go and plant the bomb but nonetheless, we are basically going through the level and you can actually stomp on this crocodile that gives you shit ton of coins and it's actually very fun to do it, I don't know why. I think I love violence. When we were in the boss fight against him, I basically stood there for legit 5 minutes and I actually gave him a chance so he can kill the killer croc himself and so he can have a, at least a somewhat of a ego. But at least we moved to level 4 after we defeated him, which is called Zoo Company. Now this level makes me wanna shoot myself in game of course, because at first it made sense, snowy area, penguin, whatever, you know, until you get to the freaking boat and looks like it's been set in the middle of the jungle. What the fuck? Anyways, we blew up the doors, went inside, fought the creature by playing some crappy music and him destroying it for like 10 time I don't know this man bat shit is so annoying anyways just so we can move on to level 5. Level 5, Penguin's Lair. Batman and Robin track down the penguin to the secret lair beneath the zoo. They must stop him before he unleashes his army of robotic penguins on Gotham. Now this is one of the funniest levels since you can end it pretty fast with one of the cheeses which we did but I will show it to you later on. But basically this level just contains us go straight, do some more puzzles, destroy a couple of things and basically are into the level. Now, in order to actually beat the penguin, you actually also have to beat the catwoman as well as some chargey and thingies that charge that antenna and destroy those two generators, I would say. I don't know what they're called. And after that, there is a penguin phase where he just flies around you with an umbrella and all you have to do is put him down with a batarang and just go to the part where there is a toxic green goo whatever it's called and just jump into it and because he's a midget and smart individual he will just follow you into it and that way you don't have to fight him but you can end his chapter now chapter 3 is far i would say the worst and yet the best chapter it gives you loss but it also gives you depression from first mission the villains of chapter 3 are also the joker harley queen scarecrow mad hatton and killer moth 
Level 1 Joker's Home Turf The Joker can hardly queen are spotted causing chaos in the Gotham City amusement park. Batman and Robin must navigate throughout the park and to capture him. Now this level causes me depression every time I see it and play it since it's long and boring as fuck. You have to walk from one part of the room to other and use some vacuum to take out the green toxic goo in order to build and do some more puzzles on the way to confront Mad Hunter who is just annoying as fuck in my opinion. And all you need to do is punch him and he's on. Step on a few buttons so he can fall into that goo and repeat until he's dead. Man, what the fuck is this level? Usually speedrunners do this in less than 2 minutes by glitching on a pixel of a wall, I swear to god. Level 2, little fun at the big top. Now this level starts by Commissioner Gordon being captured by Joker and Harley Quinn. Level is alright, I like how you have lots of arcade games, however some of them you cannot play as Batman and Robin, rather in free play where you can switch characters and you fight Harley. Now this level is 10 times longer than it anticipated since Harley is just spinning 24-7 in their circles, but the end is quite funny because Robin and Harley are playing in the background, I mean literally, while Batman is cracking the codes to release Jim, but after the Batman said, alright no more games fam, pulled out the bat or anything and put the Harley down. Level 3, Flight of the Bat is another vehicle mission where we are chasing down Scarecrow. Nothing too much special going on, other than that this time you have to aim bombs via air and missiles just so you can take Scarecrow down by helicopter grappling him and then finish it off with missiles. Level 4, In the Dark Knight is a mission reminds me of a Madagascar movie. Mauricio, I can't move it, move it anymore! Anyways, we are following the insect called Killer Moth across the alley and then we went into a club to do a little puzzle, I don't know, on the floor and uh, basically a robot spawn did all of that just to get to Killer Moth and turn lights on and off every 5 seconds because this motherfucker is attracted to it. But after that we are on to our last mission as Batman and Robin. Level 5 to the top of the tower. This level can be done super fast but for us it took us around 20 minutes since we didn't know what the fuck are we doing. But all we did was open some balcony doors and then Harley came outside and we basically went on top of the police trucks just to spray her down and then get inside the cathedral. Now this part took us the longest since we couldn't find the glide suit for Batman but it was inside some kind of pillar. Like thank you game for being actually 3D sometimes. Anyways, after we found that suit we went into our last room where we basically had to hammer down Joker and Harley since they were hiding in a bell for some reason and after that we had a little scene where we just sprayed down his helicopter and after that we had a little boss fight with him and basically after that we defeated them and Hero's chapter is over. Ok now we must join the dark side aka okay, we get to play as villains. Each of them has unique abilities and schemes. The villain storyline is just split into 3 chapters again with each chapter featuring a different villain leader and their cohort. But basically the cutscenes are the same as the Batman ones just set before them which is which kinda doesn't make sense. I mean why is the game putting us to play as Batman and Robin first? Meanwhile they set the place before them. It's just ridiculous. But anyways, the first chapter being the Riddler's Revenge and on our first mission we get to play as Clayface and Riddler where we basically get to destroy a ton of things and just expose the main entrance of the bank. The second mission we get to play as Mr. Freeze where I just froze my friend for 10 minutes straight but he was also attacking me so he had to have his portion back. Now Mr. Freeze is one of the best characters in the game because he gets to freeze he can run through the toxic goo and he has super strength. But anyways, we just did some little puzzles just to get our super weapon vehicle and that's about it. Level 3 we played as Ivy just to get some plants, I don't even want to bother with the puzzles since they were boring and nothing special. Level 4 was kinda basically eh, we just acquired some minigun, the level is fast but the progression was slow because they give you things that are just slowing you down for some reason. Then the last mission was a bank heist where we controlled a police helicopter to destroy a door with one bullet. Shot some police officers, but at least we got a cool ass robot to shoot one bullet again on the safe. What the fuck game? I'd like, at least give me a part where I had some crazy boss battle or something. I don't know, but that's about it. That's the end of the Riddler's chapter and moving on to Penguin's gang. Power Crazed Penguin. Now this chapter is fun the first few levels, but after that gets boring, at least for me. But anyways, moving on to level 1, where we play as Bane and Penguin, and basically we are just getting this one antenna plate, and Penguin in the end left Bane's ass. But at least, we it took us 20 minutes to complete this, since we had to do one jump for a mini kit, which we basically couldn't do. So I had to switch to Penguin and just do it on my own, since Bane has like larger hitbox. But anyways, 
Bane started to mash Cop's car, and just so we can move on to the next level where we get to play as Catwoman. Overall, the level is okay. We get to steal the diamond and run some dead dinosaur. However, the level system doesn't make any sense. Since next up is a vehicle mission, but at level one, we went into a submarine. Like, why wouldn't a vehicle mission be next? I'm lost. Anyways, this is the moment where I lost my happiness for living, since there is a part in the mission where you cannot hit a button. Like, for God's sake, it's literally impossible. You have to pick this one pixel in order to activate it. But somehow we did it and we also had to take out the police boat. Now level 4 we get to play as Killer Croc and go back to the sewers and rescue a cat woman by throwing a bomb. Kinda funny but doesn't make sense. I thought bailing out would be, I don't know, Killer Croc fucking mashing everyone out and saving the cat woman without exploding anything, but oh well. Or, I don't know, maybe Catwoman escaping by herself. Nonetheless, the last mission with the penguin can be done super fast by speedrunning it, but we chose the slowest version because we genuinely don't know what we are doing. But to sum it up, we had to break some ice blocks to build a snowplow truck, destroy the big ice for the elevator and the entrance, just to slide down and activate the antennas. And that's it for the penguin's chapter. The Joker's Return. Now, the first mission of this chapter is just going back in circles, but in the end you just use a crane to destroy police trucks and start beating on Gordon. Second mission is another vehicle mission where you fight a police helicopter by gassing the missile launcher with Scarecrow and then just start destroying the police helicopter. Third level being relatively stupid but long for some reason because I thought Scarecrow can actually do something but the only thing he can do is mind control people. But anyways we open the garage doors and escape from museum cause cops were on our asses the whole time. Fourth mission playing with killer mod to save Harley Quinn was fun since we get to use some big ass robot that basically we unbox from a, a present and destroy a couple of police trucks. And the last mission playing with Harley and Joker just to activate and build a stupid tower. And that's about it. The whole campaign is done. Oh, you thought that was done? Hell no. Nah. We need to 100% in order to lock all the characters, all the fun facts and all the missions. So I played for the past 7 hours to collect 300 mini kits 30 and 30 red bricks. Why I do this to myself? I don't know, but I guess I like the pain. Anyways, after that we unlocked every single character, every single vehicle, every red brick, as well as the play two bonus levels. Now the first one is in Vain Manor, and let me tell you, this shit took longer than expected. The only way you earn coins is by playing two mini games, and I was stuck on one mini game for 30 minutes straight, cause I don't know which blocks can be destroyed and which cannot. And the other mini game was physics, like what the fuck? But we did it and then we came back to villain's place, did a bonus level. Thank god it actually took us sub 5 minutes. And that's when we unlocked Raz, Raz al Ghul. Which is like the final character cause we need 100% in order to unlock him. As well as the last fact which costs like one kidney that just says the end. So that's about it.